वेलकम बैक टू अदर एपिसोड ऑफ कितना देती है एंड टुडे वी हैव द स्कोडा लॉरा 1.8 पॉइंट एट टी एस आई नाउ आई नो इट लुक्स लाइक अ वी आर एस बिकॉज इट हैज वी आर एस बम्पर किट एंड एवरी थिंग बट इट्स स्टॉक अंडर नीथ इट जस्ट एज अ के एन एन एयर फिल्टर अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट लुक्स प्रेरी सिक इट्स ऑन द स्टॉक व्हील्स करेंटली वि डिलीवरिंग इट बैक टू पुणे फॉर टी डी एच क्लासीफाइड वन ऑफ आर क्लाइंट्स वॉन्ट्स टू बाय दिस कार सो वे डिलीवरिंग इट बैक इट हैज अ होस्ट ऑफ मॉड्स बट इनिशियली अंडर नीथ मैकेनिकली इट्स अ स्टॉक कार so let's find out how much so let's find out how much uh, mileage and how much fuel economy this thing can give so we're currently in nagpur and we have to deliver it to pune which is like 750 kilometers we've just done a full tank we've uh, filled in 53 liters of fuel completely up to the brim the tank is about 55 liters so i think we had like 2 liters inside the tank so yeah it's completely filled up we filled normal petrol nothing xp95 nothing so let's check it out now so we've just left from the uh, fuel station we filled in a full tank basically and we're heading back to pune now technically on paper if we drive properly i think in one single tank this thing will go back to pune uh, right now we're not going to do any sort of pulls nothing we want to go back home in one single tank that is the goal for today so currently it's 6:48 am we have 717 kilometers to go uh, the roads are pretty decent they're not that bad it's not going to be like a karnataka highway or something but yeah it's definitely better than the roads we have around pune and mumbai so yep let's just check what range the car is saying so currently showing 520 kilometers and i think so once we get on to the highway once we're at cruising speeds i think so we can definitely increase the range a little bit currently we're inside nagpur like we're getting out of nagpur onto the nagpur amravati uh, expressway basically and yeah the roads still there are a little bit little bit bad but yeah it's something that you can deal with definitely so yeah let's see and i'll just tell you the current uh, fuel economy that we're getting so we're getting 7.7 liters for every 100 km so do the math and i'll put something over here yeah that's what you're getting hold up have you checked out our website The driversup.com is live now with a new segment called TDH Classifieds where you can list your exotic performance or even project car and target the right audience even if you are in the market to buy yourself a nice car of your dreams something like this a first of its kind Skoda VRS 245 with an all wheel drive system or maybe something more subtle like this Punto Abarth with a stage 1 plus and a lot of goodies so head on forward to TDH Classifieds and get the car of your dreams Across the toll, we were stuck behind this one idiot. I mean, the mileage took not a very big hit, but yeah, I mean, it dropped by 0.2, 0.3 liters for every 100 kilometers. Yeah, pretty annoying. We have a fast tag, we have everything, but yeah, we were just stuck behind this one idiot. And even the toll people were so slow. I mean, it was just, it was just annoying. But yeah, we're back onto the road. The roads are great around here, and the scenery also is so nice. the national highway if i'm not wrong so it's only two lanes but yeah very nice road very smooth but you get villages and all of that in every like 10 km so you have these very annoying speed bumps which are like small speed bumps in a uh, what do you say Con four in a row if like five or four in a row or whatever so yeah that's also pretty annoying but apart from that the road's nice drive the car is damn smooth I love the feeling even of a stock 1.8 TSI Lora. I mean this car is miles better than my car. My car feels like a trash can. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. So annoying.
it's been approximately 20 to 30 kilometers later and the road has been pretty nice um, so we're doing approximately 6.1 liters for every 100 kilometers which is more or less 18 kilometers to the liter pretty good I think so we can extract it a little bit more I think so we'll get that maybe get at like 19 kmpl 20 kmpl in another 20 to 30 kilometers if we can maintain a good average speed uh, the range has gone up at least on the oh it's gone up even more now so when we left it was at like 520 kilometers if i'm not wrong now it's gone up to 670 kilometers according to maps we have 676 kilometers to go so i think if we can maintain good speeds maintain a good fuel economy this thing will go from Pune to Nagpur in one single tank which would be very impressive so yeah the roads are pretty good it's still showing us 13 hours and 51 minutes to reach home which is quite a lot of time and only for 600 kilometers but yeah I think so we can cut down the time pretty nicely and the road is pretty decent not too much traffic to, uh, today see you in some time balance so it was not reading apparently but I don't think so because we filled up like the owner filled up the fast tag last night itself so I highly doubted it at least has a thousand bucks in it right now and the whole like according to at least Google Maps the whole journey from Nagpur to Pune takes what 510 rupees in toll this toll was 230 rupees now if the fast tag had a thousand bucks I mean it just doesn't add up whatever got out Google paid him the money they don't keep uh, card scan uh, like what do you say card machines and all of that nowadays this is just the stupidest thing ever and we don't have cash who carries cash nowadays I mean everything is online with cards and Google pay and everything so yeah we had to stop I had to give him my license so that you know he could trust me that I'm going ahead of the toll because I didn't want to stop the traffic behind so yeah unfortunate after that slight problem, we started to feel a bit hungry and decided to stop for breakfast at the first restaurant we saw. So we had just stopped for a quick bite, we had some breakfast <clears throat> and uh, so we're getting back onto the road. Let me just give you an update on what all is going on in terms of the fuel. So range is 890 kilometers. The uh, basically the fuel meter hasn't even moved basically we're still getting 5.7 liters for every 100 kilometers which is like around 19 kmpl 18 kmpl which is pretty good uh, we haven't started the map yet but yeah we still have quite a lot of uh, time to go the roads have become a little worse i would say uh, they're not as good as when we started definitely so yeah let's see how the journey progresses now I'm not, it's still like around 12 hours more for the journey, which is quite astonishing. But I think so we'll reach in another 9 to 10 hours, if I'm not wrong, if we can keep maintain a good pace. So yeah, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Back on the road, the two lane highway transformed into a single lane highway and the traffic started to worsen with the trucks and buses everywhere. On the way, we saw the brand new Samruddhi Mahamarg Expressway connecting Mumbai and Nagpur and decided to stop and check it out. just joined the Aurangabad uh, Nagpur highway I guess I'm not really sure the, there was like a 20 30 kilometer patch where the road was literally one single lane now it's a massive road four lanes pretty good cement road uh, we stopped over here beside because as you can see that over there that whole stretch 
that is the brand new Samruti Expressway which connects Nagpur and Mumbai. Uh, we're not going to go on to that road because it's shut, it's not open yet. It's going to open apparently after Diwali. But I think so this video is going to come during Diwali. So yeah, it might be open. So yeah, that's the new Samruti Expressway. Uh, the Laura has been performing amazing. Let me just go through some of the mods that this thing has because it's a stock Laura mechanically but there are some cosmetic mods, some interior mods and everything. So first off, the headlights are different. It has some aftermarket headlights. Uh, then you have the VRS bumper kit. It had some uh, really nice looking OZ rims, 17 inch OZ rims, but uh, the owner has removed it because uh, the person who's gonna buy the car doesn't want those rims. He doesn't like the look of them. I personally think they're really nice looking. You of course have this uh, VRS spoiler at the back. Uh, you have a KN air filter, which is a stock replacement air filter in the air box. Then on the inside again, you have a couple of uh, cool little mods. First of all, you have ambient lighting everywhere. The interior has been completely done up. Uh, new seat covers, new headliner, everything, the works. Uh, you have a, a pioneer infotainment system in the middle, which has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Uh, the main thing that I love about this thing is that the gear shifter has been fixed. My car has a wonky gear shifter. This thing, solid. Then the other thing is it has an LNK steering wheel and basically in the LNK steering wheel you have buttons and all which can control the uh, instrument cluster and the infotainment system from. So it has all of that. So let's get back and head on over to Pune. So literally we just got scammed. We were standing over there near Samruti. We thought it was going to be a mad road ahead and we're back to a one lane road. That section, that one kilometer intersection, that was only for Samruti, and we're back. Yep. So, we're still not near Aurangabad as such. I'm not really sure what sort of. Uh, I'm not really sure what sort of calculation Google Maps is showing because. Ba so, basically, the amount of distance remaining to Pune is 481 kilometers. But Google Maps is saying 10 hour 38 minutes to reach home. Basically 10 p.m. and it's 11.30 right now. And I'm not really sure what sort of calculation this is, but I don't think personally we're gonna take that much time to reach home. Uh, update on the fuel. Like I said, the uh, fuel meter has moved a little bit now. Uh, one basically... One kata. One kata is One kata has moved. And range is now 750 kilometers. That's because uh, we've not been maintaining that good of a speed. And you know, we had to slow down for speed breakers because this road is really not that big. So yeah, let's see how much time it takes because I'm pretty sure it's not gonna take us 10 hours to reach home. But if it does, then this is one of the shittiest highways in India. I mean, 10 hours for 400 kilometers is wild. Being all optimistic about cutting down time in the Laura, we just didn't know what was lying ahead of us. So we decided to take a short <coughs> lunch break and then continued ahead on the road. So <clears throat> we had stopped over here for lunch. We just had lunch. We killed one hour over here. No, that was not the plan, but lunch is lunch. And I'll give you a quick update on the tank and everything. So we're doing, we're still doing about six uh, liters. Huh? What? Oh, we're doing 17, 18 kilometers to the liter. Uh, the tank is now near 3 fourths, like it's almost at 3 fourths of a tank. Pretty impressive, we've covered almost 300 kilometers in that much. So, very impressive for a 1.8 TSI. Uh, we still have a long way to go, almost 400 kilometers I'd say. And yeah, it's 2 p.m. We're gonna reach home by 11 p.m. The roads are pretty bad now. So yeah, I'm not gonna be driving now, Shresht will be driving. Hello. So we just got stopped by the cops. Uh, Shresh was driving for five minutes and we got stopped. Uh, they were just doing a routine check. We're like 150 kilometers from Aurangabad, I think. And yeah, routine check. They were checking for illegal substances, if we're carrying anything. Of course, we're not. Um, so we have basically all of the documents apart from the PUC. And that also we have, but we got it late from the owner. So the I mean, if we would have shown the PUC, then it wouldn't have been a problem. But yeah, we told them to just give us a chalan and, you know, just uh, get it settled with. So, yeah, 
we did what we had to do we have the pu seat with us yeah very annoying On the way we saw another patch of road for the Samruddhi Expressway being built so we stopped again to take a couple of pictures and admired the road wishing we were on the new expressway than this two lane pain the roads at one point were just non existent it was all very tiring but we still had a long road ahead so we're back on the road now for a good like 1 or 2 kilometers we were just going super slow first gear only because like the road was really bad like the uh, potholes the just the road in general was so bad so yeah we couldn't do too much me and dhawal had to get out of the car because the car's pretty low 30 mm drop from the mps springs so yeah we got out of the car we were helping shresh maneuver around all of the different uh, all of the different uh, potholes and valleys and what not so yeah now we're back onto the road we still have 6 hr and 50 minutes to go 310 kilometers now we understand why it's taking so long because the roads are so bad this road seems to be oh, really? that was a <laughs> monkey <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we're back on the road now let's see what happens abhi aisa lag raha hallucinate mar rahe makad tha wo we decided to stop directly after sunset after a little obstacle with the monkey we crossed aurangabad and had a little encounter with the rain after sunset we decided to stop at around 7 pm the road changed from a single lane highway to a four lane highway again but the road quality was so bad and we couldn't maintain a good speed due to the potholes and because we were blinded by the high beams from the oncoming traffic So it's 7 p.m. and we're still like four hours away from Pune, and yeah, we stopped for a quick break. Everyone wants to go to the washroom and stuff. We're just having some snacks to eat. Uh, the Laura has been performing amazing. Uh, the lights are okay; they're not that good. Uh, the main problem is that there there are no street lights on this highway, so it's a little bit difficult to see. And the highway itself is very bumpy. It's like a teenager's face with pimples everywhere. So. It's really not that good. Still have four hours to go. So yeah, it's a pretty, pretty tedious journey, but we'll push through. So the fuel light just came on. We just got into the reserve. This car has done, let's see, 725 kilometers in just under three fourth of a tank, just over three fourth of a tank. Yeah, pretty impressive. We're like 10 kilometers away from home now, not even 10, like eight kilometers away. So once we head home and we're underneath my building, we will update you guys. But yeah, 725 kilometers. You just saw. how much fuel we have we have lots of fuel to spare this is more than 10 liters of fuel i own a lora so i know it and i am basically broke so i know how much a thousand bucks of fuel is it's approximately this much amount so i know it's going to be 10 liters so let's head home so we finally reached home and yeah it's been very very tiring the car still is in reserve but it's just barely touched reserve uh, we still have like 90 85 90 kilometers of range we've done almost 750 kilometers actually wait i'll just tell you how much we've done we have 80 kilometers of range 734 kilometers total distance 50 kilometers an hour is the average speed um 6.6 liters sorry 6.6 liters for every 100 kilometers so i just quickly do some math 100 divided by 
6 15.1 kilometers to the liter which is pretty fine for a car like this super comfortable uh big engine 1.8 tsi loads of potential even i have been able to get out a uh, fuel efficient fuel efficiency ratings like this in my stage 2 car uh, even i have been able to get out like 18 km mpl for a journey which is a little bit better as i have that much amount of traffic or bad roads considering the amount of bad roads traffic and everything that we face today 15.1 km to the liter is pretty impressive let's just find out how much fuel we've used so 734 divided by 15.1 we've used 48 liters of fuel in the morning if i'm not wrong we filled 53 liters of fuel so we have five more liters plus i think so another five liters in like the proper proper reserve tank that's pretty respectable in my books so thank you so much for watching this video do check out tdh classifieds because this car is from tdh classifieds we've bought it to pune because a customer of mine is going to buy the car so yeah if you're interested in cool tuner cars and everything like that please do check out tds classifieds till then subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one